Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 36. All right, the previous episode, um, we got to see Horo Horo's fight between um, the big guy and the um, Brocken, I think that was his name. And <clears throat> we see him fight him, like, you know, like using all the other spirits uh, for, of the Iceman. He fought them and he was able to defeat them uh use, using you know like in, in a calculative way like that was a good strategy strategy that he uh did and uh, he was able to defeat them and <coughs> in the end Lysa comes in to help him and uh like we get a few more information about Lysa from then on was a little bit of a recollection uh how Lysa got his angel and all that stuff Lysa again meet, met with the crew you know uh yo and all the others and then like you know like the, the whole fight then happens you know like uh, yo's uh not yo sorry how's uh, minions start attacking all that stuff uh, yo says that you don't have to get involved in this you know like whichever you think you'll do it'll come back eventually so leave this to us and you know like um ryu was stopping them ryu kind of went a little bit overboard so he almost or not almost yeah almost he almost kind of died in a way but uh the gandhara came and this is the first time we're seeing them and they are insanely strong so like the gandhara came and you know the like you know he, the gandhara helped him because of yo's uh, wish yo was wishing for someone somewhere to go and help ryu and they heard that and that's why they came here to help him and um you know because yo is like a person who with very pure like you know heart that's why the gandhara decided to listen to him and just like you know like the house minion ran away all that stuff and in the end there was a shocking portion where we actually get to know that uh the guy uh, uh what was the name of the kids i forgot uh the two kids uh with the golem you know, uh, their dad was actually killed by Chocolove's gang and that's why they completely like you know killed all of them and now they're trying to go for Chocolove so let's see what happens here like yeah and I, I don't know where Mickey is and Mickey's is probably following them or something uh, who knows hopefully he comes uh, like you know like uh, arrives there and can stop the whole uh, revenge thing going on or someone you know someone comes and stop this because obviously we, we don't want anything happening to the kids neither do we want anything happening to chocolov so someone needs to come and stop this so let's see what happens so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timing here think it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. I wonder how they suddenly got to know that Chocolov is the one who is the one, you know, that killed the dad. Like, like I remember um, the girl standing in front of the golem, just staring at the golem. And the, the brother comes and I think asks, asks her to come to join them for dinner or something. And then like, you know, like he looks at the golem and it suddenly cuts off there. And then we see this scene. Yeah. Uh 
All right, let's see. Okay, this is Mickey's eyes, isn't it? Yeah. Bit search. Oh, that's how. That's how. Okay, that answers my question. Whoa. Moonsa. Yeah, he's oh boy. My God, it shoots beams through the eyes. Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, so he did kill him, okay. <laughs> no, if you think about it like that, then it'll keep going on, you know? Like, the ever-ending cycle. Oh. Wait, is, is that the end of the golem? I don't think so. Oh my god! Yeah, I was like, how can that be... Okay, there you go. I was thinking, th this is too easy. Oh my god, he got hit through the... Oh my god. Yeah, he's losing blood. Oh no. Oh, thank god! Okay. Yeah. Oh god, you're talking like the X-Laws now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, obviously, like, what do you expect? Like, if you take revenge, she, she'll suddenly get her thing back? Oh my god, come on! And here we go, the never-ending cycle. Oh boy. Oh really? Okay. Okay, can... I don't know. Oh, they can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe fast? 
Oh, the Gandhara. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. But I, according to Anna, this won't work. So. Obviously, it'll regenerate, I'm guessing. Oh my god. Radius hit across the stern. Okay. I don't, oh my god, I guess he's just a kid, you know, probably because of that, like, he's not thinking correctly. Like... Wait, she's stopping. My god, a flying golem, that's, that's scary. And that's the tree of Sephiroth, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, obviously now they, he can, they can't attack. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, Mickey, okay. I was like... Yeah, and it will start again. <sighs> you get what you do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anna, yes. Come on, you're a kid. You can obviously go back. Oh, he's talking about that. Okay. Whoa! Wait, what the? Wait, who? Did it go berserk or something? What happened? Wait. Wait, yours okay with that? <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh Yeah, he's not okay. I was I was thinking how is he okay? Okay. Is, is he in control or something? What's happening? Like Red Sep Moons are Red Sep and that's Serum. Okay.
Oh, is this like his inner, yeah. Gears of hell. Uh. Oh, this guy's here. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> ah! uh. I don't think this has this is something else probably. Oh, okay. Nothing is made by accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every soul on earth eventually returns to. Oh, wait, really? Wow. Memories. So this is like a mini mini world. Okay. Wow, this seems like a place for like a place for everyone, isn't it? Like Grandest soul. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shamash help didn't Yeah Lipo. Okay, circulatory system. My God. Okay. Hmm. Our people. Someone is controlling her or something, I think. Like, she, she's not in her right mind, I think. Probably the golem. Oh no. Oh my god, how is here? Oh no, this is bad. Oh no. Run, girl. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, everyone's here. Great. Oh god. Wait, everyone is here. What is happening? Yeah, everyone has arrived at the same time. It's 1500. For oh, integrated mana. Consume their own mana to okay. Shamans with little mana. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like where did it get gather these this mana from? Wait, what? Oh. N Oh my god! Oh. Well, that's it. Oh my god! Uh, okay. Well, now everyone's ganging up on him. What the hell? Okay, no, stop, not the time for comedy. Oh no, come on, someone. Maybe the Gandhara? Can the Gandhara come? The only one I... Okay, no, the, the Exodus are here, okay. Alright, thank god, at least some... Okay, how, uh, Ren is also here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's good.
Wow. <laughs> I, I was thinking like the shaman, like you know that you won't be participating in the shaman fight, all that. I was thinking like, wow, so you won't be involved in any like you know like battles after this, much battles. But without the shaman fight, everyone's like you know <laughs> getting involved in all these battles and everything. <laughs> and now like the main, uh, like you know the main um, bad guy who is how here. Has come and just you know like we have to confront him <laughs> and uh, yeah like if how wants I'm sure he can just wipe everyone out over here he's not doing it um, obviously because of most obviously the bigger biggest reason here is because of yo because he's his other half and yeah so Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so one thing we got to know here is the one who's possessing Sadam is the dad. Like, uh, like why? Maybe because of some, like, you know, uh, unfulfilled wishes. There you go. That's the end. Uh, unfulfilled wishes or something like that uh you know like he was saying something about his people or something so probably because of that so he has been uh possessing serum from oh my god oh yeah i remember like the the thing that um red said that thing that's his name red said said that the day when our father died uh serum went out i think and she came back no, I think she found a body and she, after from that m time onwards, she hasn't, like, you know, interact, her mind is gone completely. So that means from, the, obviously, like, you know, from coming in contact with the dad's body, the dad probably possessed her from that moment onwards. And that's why she has not been, like, you know, she's not responsive, she doesn't talk, all that stuff, so. Okay, it makes sense now. All right, this episode. Um, <clears throat> okay, the first part is we see Chocolov and uh, Red Sip and Serum. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, if if uh, the dad has been possessing Serum all this while, why did he attack um, Chocolov? Just because he wanted to have revenge for his death, is that why he attacked Chocolov? I, uh, otherwise, it wouldn't make because I feel like his goal is something bigger, not something like you know, like mere revenge, not like that. He has some other goal, like he himself is saying something about like you know his people or saving them or something. So, okay, so okay, let me check that portion again when. Okay, here it is. The golem was born to save our people without land. He's a robot. You think I'll hand it and all its secrets over to you? Okay. So yeah, it is something different, isn't it? His uh, goal. So why did he attack Chocolate? I guess maybe maybe because of just you know like revenge okay um here's another part where we see uh here we see serum actually talking she's looking at the monitor and she's saying okay just a sec here it is yeah the golem is there serum is inside okay uh she says uh, furioku response 805 and the other one is uh, 10,500. Found you, the enemy of our people. Okay, so. Enemy of our people. What does that even mean? Like. Uh, okay, who. Whose Fuyoku is that? That Serum was calculating at that moment. 
one is 805 another is uh, 10500 oh 805 is it no i don't think it's top of i don't know i don't know who like you know he she was actually trying to <sighs> anyways I, I i'll stop thinking about it i'm sure i'll get my answers okay so yeah uh, as i was saying so uh first we get the battle with chocolov and red sip and the golem and he like you know he he tries to attack it and he does kind of hard like you know like kind of slices it up and but and i was i was like wait is it that easy obviously not um red sub and serum like defeats uh, not defeats almost kills him at that moment and thankfully yo and uh yo and uh ryu they both of them arrive and take chocolate away now here's where everything starts getting in the um bad direction um red Sip starts falling no, not falling but starts walking the path of revenge again and you know like he is like oh like serum didn't get his her mind back it must be because of uh, because you stopped my revenge uh, revenge so i'll have to kill you as well and you know like this whole thing starts again and again this whole revenge thing like you know like he like you know chocolate killed um the dad now red Seb is trying to kill chocolate and now like you know if somehow he's able to defeat chocolate someone else will come for him this will go over and over again and um like he like, he was kind of going into the wrong direction over there and yo thankfully stops him from like you know going in that direction and like and and obviously like here here's the thing um it's kind of understandable for red Sep to actually be so emotional because he was like you know, he was just a kid that <clears throat> when that all these things happened I, i'm talking about the dad's death and uh he, since he is a kid he's bound to make mistakes and that's why he is not thinking properly he he just it's just lashing her out just like you know like trying to find something uh some kind of reason behind his actions like as he said himself like am and aren't i too late into this I've, I've already killed people like like there's quite a few things going on in his head number one is he thought that if like you know if he killed uh Chocolof, he would probably kill or like you know took his revenge um he would get uh, serum's voice back serum's mind back again first of all that did not work out then his the realization like you know he got hit by the realization that this did not work so what am i supposed to do and like so what what i did here is i killed a few people which was in vain that means like why did i even kill them for like all these things are kind of piling up on top of him one after the other so i'm guessing he was kind of lashing out at that moment and he just like you know started going deeper into the like you know wrong path he was like oh then i'll have to defeat you yo because you know you stopped me even though like you know yo has nothing to do with the father's death he he just starts going in that direction and like if like as i said if this was someone like you know some other character some like you know like older like you know older or adult characters who was doing something like this i would probably be kind of like you know a bit more harsher on him but since these are just little kids i can't say anything much here because as i said they're just kids they are supposed to not know anything you know like not have like you know experience life experience so uh, they are bound to make mistakes so that's what you know um red Sub did here he made a mistake he he kind of like you know went a bit too far with his hatred and yo was there to stop him and when like you know when red Sub sees that he cannot do anything he tries to go and punch yo and yo says that it's like so you shouldn't even have started this pointless fight if you didn't want you know this happening and he says like when you fight with hatred you will always lose some this is such a good line you know like if you uh, fight with hatred you will always lose something both your peace of mind and what you hold dear like 
such a good line like it's it's like i can't even imagine to think like you know like i can't even imagine to be in the shoes that reds uh, in red steps shoes you know like i can't even imagine a situation where someone is so like you know blinded with revenge that you know they lose their mind this is something which i'm sure most of the people cannot even imagine so like i cannot say from the point of well, like you know from red Sub's point of view what it feels like to have this type of a thing within yourself you know this burning hatred and you know like so without knowing that feeling like i like you know like as i said like you know it's, it's probably easy to say these words that yeah you should not go for revenge you know revenge is a bad thing it just keeps taking from you but you know like from the point of view of red Sub, um i don't know how like you know i would feel if i was on his shoes and what i would have said at that moment but since like you know like what can i say like since yo like yo has seen these type of things and yo have seen people i'm guessing you know like going into uh like you know uh, walking the path of revenge and everything he has also lost a lot of people not like you know like a few uh closed ones uh, matamune and all that so <clears throat> yo yo kind of understands what it is like to lose a person and he he's probably the best one who could actually give red Seb advice here and he did that and i i'm sure it actually like you know like he he actually red Seb actually understood here because one thing is uh, like one thing i'm quite sure about like red Seb probably wouldn't have listened to yo if serum was not present here since serum was here you know like serum since she's her sister uh, his sister and since red Seb wants the best for her i'm sure at a point of time over here when yo challenged him to fight back you know i'm, I'm sure at a point of time he probably thought what would happen if her sister somehow gets involved in this mess and somehow gets injured worst case lose her life and that probably made him snap back to reality and he realized that yeah like if i start keep going in this revenge direction not only me but my sister might also be affected so like i'm guessing that's why i'm saying like you know like uh serum's presence probably helped red Seb snap out of this thing a lot quicker than if he would have if he was alone here you know I think it would have been a bit more difficult to actually snap him out of this whole revenge spiral thing and he would probably keep going but since his sister was here i'm sure he probably thought that yeah my sister is also in danger if i keep going in this path so i should probably stop like that's the thing and, and the thing that i was saying i kind of went on a different direction that um i couldn't even imagine like you know a person like walk like you know the feeling of actually getting revenge on something like this type of hatred i couldn't even imagine but even though i can't imagine what uh, uh red sub is feeling and i am not i'm unable to imagine what it would be like if i was in his shoes um i would still say that revenge is a bad thing just like yo said you know like if revenge is such a thing that like why do you try to take revenge because something that happened in your past you know for your past you are sacrificing your present that is revenge like you you keep losing revenge is something where you don't gain anything you just keep losing just for your personal moment of satisfaction now just a few seconds of satisfaction you like you know you you go against someone you kill that person five seconds or maximum uh, 10 20 seconds you get a satisfaction that's it that's it that's for that 20 seconds or for that 30 seconds satisfaction you sacrifice everything that you currently have and you lose everything that you currently have i think that's pretty bad that is something that no one should do you're basically sacrificing your um you know your present your present loved ones and everyone like who you're actually involving in this just for for the sake of something that has already happened in the past and you won't be able to get back just for that momentary amount of satisfaction that's revenge so yeah like however you like you know hot-headed you get or 
whatever you you know like however you feel like you should always like you know keep a calm mind and try to think that yeah like revenge is not good always so like obviously like if, if something bad happens you should definitely uh, like you know fight back that's something different but like you know like for like doing stuff like this like sacrificing your present life for revenge is something that is is not good and it, it it doesn't give anything back revenge just takes away from you and that's what you said you know like it's revenge is something that only takes and yeah you you just involved everything your loved ones and everything alongside it just for that moment but anyways um so yeah and that was that and then we get to the next part of chocolate being in the oh and here we get a little um explanation of the whole uh you know like <coughs> what was his name um uh, uh, i can't remember his name the uh Chocolove's master um he tells about the uh, great spirit and how there's like uh like you know like how the souls it goes back to the great spirit you know uh so and he says here how like every soul has like a place inside the great, great spirit like like who people like you know like-minded people will have a certain portion where they are kind of there you know like some other people who have some other like you know uh faith or some other way of thinking and everything they're probably in some other place inside the uh, great spirit probably even bad people evil people will also have a certain place like this is one thing that's actually really not surprised me but i, I felt fascinating that it, it's not only for like you know like normal like you know not only for good spirits but i'm guessing the greatest spirit is for all spirits you know without like you know without any discrimination like i'm, I'm guessing even bad spirits people like you know like who people who probably did some evil stuff when they were alive their spirits will also have like a place for them like you know as as his as, as uh, like he says here indeed and kindred spirits call out to each other and are drawn together forming their own communes inside here so like you know like so like people for example for example a few like-minded people five or ten people after they die they probably go and like you know like they make a little community inside like the greater spirit in one place as far as i could understand the from the way they're explaining here uh, maybe there's something more i'm not sure but this is as far as i could understand uh, they make a community here so just like that if there's some evil people as well who did a lot of bad things in their life they also probably have a place like-minded people in one place like that's what fascinated me here is it's not just only good spirits or you know neutral spirits not something like that everyone has a place and it does make sense you know because um this is the greatest great spirit like it's it's a place for where all spirits go back again and i wonder when new people like you know when when people are born um you know like uh, when like a new life is born uh maybe uh spirits from here kind of go and like you know like uh go into the people who are born like little kids who are born like a new life so that's how i guess the circle of birth and rebirth kind of happens i'm guessing you know like uh people die the spirits comes comes here and when someone like you know a, a life is born it, it probably goes back to that life and that's how cycle of uh, rebirth happens who knows anyways okay yeah so here that was that and now here's one thing that yo tells which is quite interesting he says that all like not all but um uh jan and um gandhara both of them had powers to bring people back from the spirit you know like when they were dying when the spirit were outside the body so maybe he can do also something like that and it does like you know now that i'm seeing it he is correct like gandhara also basically like you know pr brought ryu back like ryu was almost dying so Yu was just trying to do that and in comes how <laughs> uh, yeah okay um okay where is that section okay this section uh, is another part that i really liked you know like when uh, uh red Seb is sitting and he says what exactly 
was our enemy i know this is pretty like you know like uh, this is pretty uh not related to this but this this line suddenly reminded me of uh, one of the best shows you know one of the best animes uh, Vinland Saga where I remember uh, Thor's kind of uh, was it, yeah was it yeah it was it was Thor's wasn't it yeah like he he says to Thorfinn that it was Thorfinn that he tell, that told didn't he like who is your enemy you do, you have no enemies who are you so mad against no, was it? Yeah, it was Thor uh, who told Thor, Thor, uh, Thorfinn. So, like, that, it suddenly reminded me of that line. Like, it's such a great, like, you know, Vinland Laga is such a, Saga is such a great show. Like, I, it's just one of the best shows I've ever seen in anime. And, like, it suddenly reminded me of line, that line when Red Sub said that who is our enemy? Like, yeah. No one is our enemy. No one is born with enemies. We make enemies. And, you know, like, that's basically it. It's all within us. But anyways, that's something different. Um, okay, and then in comes how, you know, the whole thing with uh, like you know everyone starts like you know all house minions starts popping up one after the other. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is happening? Like, why is everyone here at the same time? Like, <laughs> even though Yo is so uh, in such a disadvantageous position, everyone's here. So like, how are we going to get out of this? And then. Uh, we get a little bit of information about the integrated mana as to as a battery, you know, and like you know, it, it acts as a battery. And then Yo asks that then where did the battery get that power from? And then like the biggest revelation here comes out like the dad was actually possessing Serum all along. So now the question here is why? And he says something about their people, something like that, like, you know, like the golem is here to save our people or something like that, the dad was saying. So probably in the next episode, we'll get more information about this. And uh, yeah, like the golem did attack uh, how, but it barely even, you know, did anything to him. <clears throat> and Yo is also threatening, not threatening, but telling you know, how to stop. And all that stuff was happening. Then in comes all the, like, you know, uh, all our crew members, Lyserk, um, Horo Horo, and uh, Ryu, uh, Ren. Ren also comes. So, yeah. And I'm guessing we are... Oh, and Lyserk did say that I'm actually being able to understand what you're trying to say. And that's good, you know. Like, Lyserk also has this whole revenge thing going on. So... Yeah, he'll, he'll also probably little by little learn. You know, that revenge in itself is a thing which is futile. It just is for a momentary amount of satisfaction. You, you, know, you sacrifice your whole life. Just chasing after that one thing. So, yeah. But, like, you know, like, there is an exception, I have to say. Like, there is some exception where revenge kind of comes in handy. For example, if someone... Like, I don't remember, but I feel like I've seen an anime where there's a character who actually loses every, like, hope to live about after something bad happened in their past. And the revenge is the only thing that probably, like, you know, kept him going. You know, otherwise he would have probably taken his own life. Or something like that would have happened. The revenge is the thing that actually, like, you know, helped him keep going. And at a point when he was able to actually give up on revenge, he realized that he on the journey he made so many people friends you know he he had like a connection with so many people that you know like he actually found a purpose in his life and basically revenge was the thing that actually carried him along all that time to like you know to come to a position where he can settle down and realize that yeah revenge is not anything because if he did not have that revenge revenge he would have probably taken his own life uh, at the beginning but revenge is the one that actually kept him going and took him to a place where he could say that yeah this is my home this is somewhere I belong. I don't remember which anime that was, or even if what is, it was an anime, or maybe it's, it was some story I read or somewhere. But I feel like I've actually have seen this type of a setting somewhere. I don't remember what it is, but yeah, that's an exception, you know. Like usually, the revenge is not something like that. But yeah, that just came into my mind. Anyways, so that was it. That was my reaction to Shaman King episode number thirty-six. So if you guys enjoyed this video, 
be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day